The Kraft Food Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. The Great Gildersleeve is brought to you partially transcribed by the Kraft Foods Company. Kraft, makers of the one and only Miracle Whip salad dressing. We say one and only because there just isn't any other salad dressing like Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip is different, and it tastes different. Miracle Whip tastes so good, it's become the most popular salad dressing ever created. More Miracle Whip is sold than the next 20 leading brands of salad dressing combined. Try it. Make your salads better tasting with the one and only Miracle Whip. like the good old days at the great Gildersleeve's house. Marjorie and Bronco are having some painting done in their house next door, so they're spending a few days with the water commissioner. By George, it's good to have the kids back again. I hope they like the little room. They ought to, Mr. Gildersleeve. You sure fixed it up nice for them. Yeah, but it's sure rough on Elmer. Elmer? Yeah, my pet turtle. <laughs> she doesn't have a run of the upstairs like he used to. I think it's got him worried. Hey. A turtle with claustrophobia. Come on, Leroy, let's go work in the yard for a while. Aren't you going to the office, Miss Gilsey? Well, I thought I'd wait around until Marjorie and Bronco come down. I didn't get a chance to talk to them much last night. No, sir. Who did? All I can say is, Marjorie, darling. Bronco, darling. Marjorie, darling. Bronco, darling. They're worse than before they were married. No, Leroy. I thought they'd quit that mushy stuff after the honeymoon. They've been married a couple of years. <laughs> well, if I know them, too, they'll be on a honeymoon for a lot more years. Yeah, I hope so. Come along, Leroy. What are we going to do, huh? Well, we might burn the rubbish for Bertie. Oh, boy, look at the pile. Yeah, pretty big, all right. Let me light it, huh? Yeah, go ahead, my boy. There she goes. Yeah. Pretty damp. Going to smoke a lot. Breeze will keep it going. Hey, look, we're laying down a smoke screen. Mm. Blowing right across the street to Bullard's house. <laughs> the bedroom windows are open. I wonder if Bullard's up. He will be. Hey, Uncle, how about tossing this old rubber tire on the fire? <laughs> no, Leroy. Why not? We can't help it if the breeze blows the smoke over there. That's Mother Nature at work. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't a good idea. Bullard might think we're doing it on purpose. So what? He doesn't like you and you don't like him. No, Leroy, it isn't that we don't like each other. We just don't get along. It wouldn't surprise me if he comes over here and tries to start something. Gilbert, please! Zeke. Here he comes. Let's run, Unc. No, Leroy, we'll stand our ground. It's ours. Gildersleeve, what are you up to now? Oh, Mr. Bullard. Good morning. Nice morning, isn't it? I don't know. I can't see it for smoke. Smoke? Oh, it is a little smoky, isn't it? <coughs> Gildersleeve, haven't you any consideration for other people? Oh, yes. It was out of consideration for you, Mr. Bullard, that we didn't burn this rubber tire. <laughs> Thank heaven for that. Gildersleeve, how in the lottery of life did I draw you for a neighbor? You well, he's... Now, see here, Bullard. I might ask you the same thing. You just waited until the wind was right to burn rubbish. No, I didn't. Oh, yes, you did. No, he didn't. You keep out of this, Leroy. No, I didn't. Well, whether you did it on purpose or not, it was a stupid thing to do. Oop. Careful who you call stupid. I'm a public official. I'm the water commissioner. Gildersleeve, if you fool with me, I'll buy the water department and cut off your water. Oh, good day, nincompoop. <laughs> that does it. Leroy, burn the tire. Won't 
won't you have some breakfast with us, Anki? No, thanks, Marjorie. Leroy and I have eaten. I can eat again. Leroy. Leave something for Marjorie and Bronco. Oh, Leroy's like me. He can always eat. Pass the toast, Marge, honey. Here, dear. Uh, Mr. Gildersleeve, what was all the noise out in the backyard? Noise? Unc was just exchanging pleasantries with a neighbor. Hey. Yes. <laughs> well, what are you lovebirds going to do today? Oh, I have a million things to do. have to shampoo my hair and sew on some buttons for Bronco, and then I have to go over and keep an eye on the painter. Yeah, good. Yeah, and I'm going to work right after breakfast. Uh, if you're going to make money, you got to go out and hit the ball. Yes, sir, that's the spirit. Will you pass the bacon again, Mr. Gildersleeve? Ew, bacon. Ah, thanks. Heavy yeah, eater. How are things going down at the real estate office? Uh, tell him your plan, darling. Yes, what is your plan, darling? I mean... <laughs> Bronco. Hey, Bronco, why don't you go to Idaho and dig potatoes? <laughs> Who, me? Sure, I heard there's big dough in potatoes. Okay. Well, I've got big plans, Mr. Gildersleeve, because I have the most wonderful wife in the world and two wonderful children. Isn't he wonderful, Unky? Oh, yes. What's this wonderful plan? Mr. Gildersleeve, I have a briefcase. You yeah? have? And in it, there's a real estate license. Unky, he's going to sell real estate on his own. Going in business for yourself, huh? Well, I admire your spunk, Bronco. Not wanting to work for somebody else. Oh, uh, well, spunk is what I've got plenty of. Spunk and drive. And ability. Uh, yeah, and ability. Yeah, but, Bronco, don't you think real estate is a little crowded? Well, Mr. Gildersleeve, the way I see it, the whole world is waiting to be sold. Oh? Yeah, there's always room at the top. What are you going to sell, an North Pole? It... <laughs> Leroy, please. Don't snipe at a young man starting his career. <laughs> Oh, that's all right, Mr. Gildersleeve. Nothing can stop me. Now, I'm starting out to ring doorbells right after breakfast. More bacon, Marge? Oh, there isn't any more, dear. Oh. Well, I'm starting right now. <laughs> Goodbye, honey. Goodbye. Now, be sure to wear your coat. It might rain. That boy doesn't need a coat. He's a ball of fire. <laughs> Oh, good morning, Mr. Bullard. I'm Bronco Thompson, Mr. Gildersleeve's son-in-law. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, you seem nervous, lad. Uh, oh, well, you're my first customer. I am? Mr. Bullard, I'm in the real estate business. Can I list your house for sale? Young man, this house is not for sale. Oh, well, I thought I'd ask you first. I'm starting at the bottom, you know. Well, yes. yes, 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 of course. Well, good day, Mr. Bullard. I'll try some of the other neighbors. Yeah, that's a good... Uh... Oh, uh, oh, Thompson. Uh... Yes, sir? Now, I, uh, I just had a thought. Uh... Has uh, Gildersleeve by any chance listed his house for sale? Uh, no, sir. No, not that I know of. Hmm. Thompson, I'll... Uh... Tell you what I'll do. I'll give you a listing on mine if you'll promise to get a listing on Gildersleeve's house. <laughs> Fair enough? Uh, well, yes, sir. Uh oh, very good. Come into my study, young man. Uh, come into the. Uh. <laughs> Let's get the dining room table cleared off, Bertie. I'm going to do a little work at home this morning. Yes, sir. Uh, no point in going to a stuffy office when a man's got a comfortable home. No, sir. You want me to leave the water pitcher and the glass on the table? Yeah, I guess you might as well, Bertie. Warm day. Yes, sir. How about the bread and butter and jam? You might want something to nibble on while you're working. Yeah, that strawberry jam is pretty good. All right, Bertie, you can leave it. You want some coffee to go with the bread and jam? Bertie, please. The reason I wanted the dining room table was to... to, to... Is the coffee good and hot? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, 
A man has to keep up his strength if he's going to work. <laughs> I'll put the coffee on. Yeah, close the kitchen door, Bertie. I don't want to be disturbed. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Now, let's see. Yeah, where will I start? What I'm excuse me. What is it now, Bertie? There's a young man to see you. He says he's selling real estate. Bertie, I don't want any salesmen in my hair. Well, this one's going to be in your hair for quite a while. He's your son-in-law. <laughs> Bronco? Oh, send him in. I am in, Mr. Gildersleeve. <laughs> so I see. Well, how's business, Bronco? Oh, great. Just dandy. And I want to talk to you about something. Oh? Yeah, I want to list your house for sale. My house? I have a listing blank here, Mr. Gildersleeve. And if you'll just fill in a few details here and sign on the dotted Bronco, line, wait. Sure that I can... wait. Go... Bronco, I don't want to sell my house. Put the top back on your fountain pen. Well, I've learned an important thing about the real estate business. You can't sell real estate without listings. Yeah, well, that's probably true. But why don't we start with somebody outside the family? Oh, I have. I just listed Mr. Bullard's house. Bullard gave you a listing on his house? Yes, sir. He said he liked to help a young man get started. Yeah, that Bullard. Trying to show me up before my own son-in-law. Let me see his listing, Bronco. Well, there it is in black and white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and... His house isn't worth that much. He marked up the price. He knows it won't sell. Oh, wasn't it nice of Mr. Bullard to give me the listing? Well, he's no nicer than I am. Where's that dotted line? Hello, Phoebe. What can I do for you? Yeah, I thought I'd drop in and have lunch with you. On the house? No, Petey. Have I ever asked you for a free lunch? We're good friends. <laughs> good friends is the kind that eat a lot of free lunch. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let me see the menu, Petey. Very well. I recommend the cold salami sandwich. Well, I don't know. I think I like this roast beef. Now, if you're hungry, Mr. Gildersleeve, I'll take this salami. Why? You don't have any roast beef. <laughs> All right, Peavy, give me a ham sandwich. I'd still take the salami. No ham, huh, Peavy? <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Peavy, I like a warm lunch. Don't you have something hot? Well, I didn't eat the salami. See? <laughs> give it to me cold. Very yeah, well. I hear Marjorie and Bronco are staying with you for a few days. Yeah, a lot of excitement. They're painting the house, and Bronco's going into the real estate business for himself. Yes, I know. Here's your salami, Mr. Gildersleeve. Yeah, thanks. Peavy, don't tell me Bronco was drumming up business in here. Well, he did want me to list the pharmacy for sale. Yeah, that's Bronco, all right. Fast worker. I told him I'd have to talk it over with Mrs. Peavy. Peavy, you didn't have to do that. Why didn't you just tell him No. Well, talking it over with Mrs. Peavy is telling him no. <laughs> well, I don't want to sell my house either, but I gave him a listing on it. I just thought I'd encourage the boy. Of course, I put the price up pretty high. He'll never sell it, but if he has a listing for me, it might help him get other business. Yes, it might. Oh, Mr. Gildersleeve. Bronco. I've been looking all over for you. I've sold your house. Well, that certainly sold my house. My, my. Yeah, here's a cashier's check for the down payment. From Rocco, you can't sell my house right out from under me. Can he, Pete? <laughs> well, no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Greg Gildersleeve will be back in just a minute. Here's something to remember if you want to make really delicious salads. No matter how fine the quality of the fruit or vegetables or seafood or meat you use, no matter how much care you take in preparing them, if the salad dressing you use isn't as good as it should be, then your salad just can't be at its best. So be discriminating in your choice of salad dressing. Use the best-tasting salad dressing you can buy. Use Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip has a flavor millions of good cooks all over the country call Just Right. It's a flavor that's lively, teasing, 
peppy, a flavor that's truly delicious. And it's a flavor you won't find in any other salad dressing anywhere. Why? Because Miracle Whip is made exclusively by Kraft from an original recipe created by Kraft. It's a recipe that combines the best qualities of zesty, old-fashioned boiled dressing and fine, rich mayonnaise. Miracle Whip has the kind of texture you want in the salad dressing, too. It's creamy, thick, and velvety smooth because Miracle Whip is blended thoroughly with special beaters. So many people like Miracle Whip so much, it's become the most popular salad dressing ever created and actually outsells the next 20 leading brands of salad dressing combined. Try it. See how much more delicious your salads can be when you make them with America's favorite salad dressing, Miracle Whip. get back to the great Gildersleeve. To encourage his son-in-law in the real estate business, the great man listed his house for sale. He didn't think it would move at such a fancy price, but was he ever surprised? Yeah, I listed it in good faith, Margie, but I had no idea he'd sell it. Isn't Bronco a wonderful salesman, Anki? Well, he's a salesman. You won't even tell me who's bought the place. The buyer wants to remain anonymous. Besides, what do you care? You're getting twice what the house is worth. And think of the big commission Bronco's making. Well, I'm glad for that. But... Hey, Aunt. What is it, Leroy? How much money do I get for my treehouse out of this deal? Yeah. That wasn't included in the deal, Leroy. Besides, we may have to live in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Auntie, for the money Bronco's getting, well, you can buy an even larger house. Yeah. How about a private room and bath for my pet turtle? Deal. <laughs> Leroy, this is a serious matter. And I'd back out of the deal if it wasn't any if it was anybody else but Bronco. Yeah, and get sued. Yeah. I guess the buyer could take action. Excuse me. Yes, Bertie. When are we gonna start looking at houses? Oh, I don't know, Bertie. Let's not rush this thing. No, sir. But when we do, let's find a kitchen that's all automatic. All automatic? Yes, sir. The only thing automatic about the kitchen we got is Bertie. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Gilsey, when are we going to move? Yeah, I don't know, Bertie. I don't even know who Bronco sold the house to. Oh, that Mr. Bronco. What a salesman. He sells so fast you don't even know who bought. Yeah, all right, Bertie. He's a natural born salesman. No, Bertie. Yes, he goes right out the first day and starts selling. That's a natural born salesman. Yeah, I know, Bertie. Miss Gilsey, you know what your son in law is. Yes, Bertie. That's right. He's a natural born salesman. <laughs> How did I get into this? How do I get out of it? Hey, Aunt, where are you going? I don't know, my boy. Right now I'm going around in circles. Looking for another house? No, Leroy. I'm trying to figure out how to keep the one we've got. We don't want to sell that place. That's our home. Yeah, I guess it'll be pretty rough living in another house. Certainly it would. How could we get in when you forgot the key? We'd have to punch new holes in the screen. Now, Leroy, there's only one in the service porch. Gosh, I might have to go to a new school where the teachers wouldn't take pity on me. I'll get worse grades than I do now. That's hardly possible, Leroy. <laughs> now, what if my turtle doesn't like the new house? You may keep coming back like a cat. A homing turtle. <laughs> I take a month to make the trip. Well, don't you worry about it, Leroy. We're not going to move. I hope. If I could just find out who bought the place. Maybe you need a lawyer, Unc. Why don't you see Judge Hooker? Leroy, the judge doesn't know anything about real estate. Sure he does. He was standing in front of Peavy's drugstore this morning talking to Mr. Bullard about real estate. Bullard? Sure. I was sitting by the newsstand reading the comic books, and I heard Judge Hooker say, real estate. Say, Hooker is Bullard's attorney. And if Bullard were... Right, George, I'm going over to Hooker's. What's the matter, Al? I smell a mouse, my boy. And there's an old cat saying, when you smell a mouse, head for the mouse hole. <laughs> Judge 
Sanders knows something about this deal. I'm sure he does. Well, confound it, I'll get the truth out of him. If I have to twist the old ghost whiskers. Oop, there he is, going into his house. Judge! Boris! The old rascal sees me. He's trying to get into the house. Now I know something's up. Boris, you come here! Oh, look at him run. Boris! One more grab and I've got him. Here, let go of my coattails. Not by the hair of your chinny chin chin, you old goat. I want to talk to you, Judge. Not now, Gildy. I'm very busy, and it's time for my Kalak water. Well, your Kalak water can wait. I want you to tell me the truth and nothing but the truth. But, Gildy... I listed my house for sale with Bronco, only as a gesture to encourage the boy. And somebody pulled a sneaky trick on me and bought it. Do you know anything about it, Horace? That's a uh, leading question. <laughs> Judge, were you or were you not talking to Rumson Bullard in front of Peavy's drugstore this morning? Let me see. Peter's drugstore. Answer yes or no, Judge. Well, I bought a package of soda mints, and Peavy gave me a glass of water. Oh, never mind. What about Bullard? Oh, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Judge, look here. A cashier's check. Deposit on my house. Now, who purchased this check? I can't tell you, Gildy. I don't have my glasses. The name isn't on it. Have you ever seen the check before? Me? Oh, my goodness. Now, look, Horace. You're supposed to be an old friend of mine. You want to see me lose my house? You want to see it sold right out from under my little family? No, Gilday, but... Besides, you're my attorney. I know, Gilday, but I'm Rumson Bullard's attorney, too, and he pays me. Oh, so it is Bullard who's buying the house. I didn't say that, Gilday. It isn't ethical for an attorney to talk about his client's affairs. But it is Bullard. I didn't say it was, and I didn't say it wasn't. Well, you didn't say it wasn't. I didn't say it was. It... Well, was it or wasn't it? It was. I, I mean, it wasn't. You said it, Judge. It was. Now, Gilder. I did it. I set a trap for a mouse and caught an old goat. <laughs> I uh, must remember to have that doorbell changed. I don't care for it. What's this? Oh, um, I forgot to mention, Gildersleeve, I, uh, I bought your house. <laughs> you did? Bullard, how could you have done such a thing? I have been waiting for an opportunity to remove you from the neighborhood, Gildersleeve. You and your burning tires. How happy I'm going to be when you're gone. But where will I go? How about Canada? <laughs> no, Bullard. You wouldn't take advantage of an old neighbor. An old friend. An old neighbor, no. An old friend, no. You, Gildersleeve, yes. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'd uh, like to come in and look over the house. Well, I can't stop you. It's your house. <laughs> how true, how true. Now, uh, let's see, uh, what room is this, Gildersleeve? Willard, you know the rooms. You've been in the house before. I know. But I'd like to hear you tell me about it. Please, old neighbor, have mercy on me. Tell me about the rooms, Gildersleeve. You're a hard man, Willard. Thank you, thank you. Proceed, Gildersleeve. Well, this is the living room. Oh, no. You better watch it. What was that, Gildersleeve? Uh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> I assume there are other uh, rooms in the house? Oh, yes. We have a kitchen. Well, what a pleasant surprise. Yes, yes. From the fumes which are constantly drifting across the street, I thought you did all your cooking over the incinerator. <laughs> that, I presume, is the, uh, is the dining room, right? Yes, that's the dining room. You eat in there? Yes. Standing up? No, it's quite large when you're in it. I doubt if it would seem large when you're in it. 
<laughs> Bullard, have a heart. Give me a chance. Call off the deal. Oh, oh, nothing doing. I have waited years for this. On the day you move, I'm going to sit across the street on my veranda and cheer each passing piece of furniture. It'll be a day of song and festivity. I shall adorn my cornices with bunting. <laughs> All right, Bullard. I'm licked. But how did you do it? Well, it was uh, quite simple, really. It was? Yes, yes. I induced young Thompson to talk you into listing your house for sale by uh, giving him a listing on mine. And when he came back with your listing, I gave him a cashier's check immediately. Is that how you did it? Yes, yes. Yes, indeed. Your experience to the contrary, Gildersleeve, it requires brains to get along in the world. <laughs> Well, by George Bullard, I have to hand it to you. You're clever. Yes, yes, that's uh, quite true, quite true. <laughs> and as I have so often said, Gildersleeve, the day would come when I would have the last laugh. This is the day. Ah, 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 ah! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. Well, Bronco. Oh, there you are, Mr. Bullard. I've been looking all over for you. Ha <laughs> ha, what an ambitious young man. What is it, my boy? I've just sold your house. Oh, fine. <laughs> what? My house? Well, Bullard, aren't you lucky? Oh, no, no, no it's not my house. My boy. No, you can't. You well, can't. You signed a listing, Mr. Bullard, and I have a cashier's check for the deposit. No, no. Oh, here it is. The cashier's check you gave me for Mr. Gildersleeve. He's using it as a deposit to buy your house. <laughs> oh, my own check. Gildersleeve. Yeah, I've got him trapped. As you said, Bullard, this is the day for the last laugh. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Great Gildersleeve will be with us again in just 30 seconds. To keep fresh fruit from turning dark before you can serve it in your favorite fruit salad, do this. Cut it at the last possible minute, then immediately dip it into orange or lemon juice. That will help make your fruit salad attractive. And to make sure that salad tastes as good as it looks, make it with Miracle Whip salad dressing. Miracle Whip has a wonderful peppy flavor, a special flavor that belongs to Miracle Whip alone. Try it. Enjoy better-tasting salads with the one and only Miracle Whip salad dressing. Now, um, uh, just a minute, uh, Gildersleeve. We, We've got him where we want him, Bronco. Yeah, uh, but Mr. Gildersleeve... Hey, what's going I... on in here? What's all the racket, Uncle? No, nothing at all, children. We've just bought Mr. Bullard's house. Oh, no, 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 you haven't. Now, we'll call off both deals and, and just forget the whole thing. Uh, but what about my commission? I sold two houses. Well, Bullard, if you want to keep your house, you pay commission on both houses. Well, both houses? Oh, no, I'll only pay commission on one. It's a deal. You pay Bronco the commission on yours, and I'll pay it on mine. He can take mine out in bacon and eggs. <laughs> Did Mr. Bronco sell a house? He sold two houses, Bertie. Ain't that grand. Mr. Gilsey, do you know what Mr. Bronco is? Yes, Bertie. He's a natural bond salesman. <laughs> Bertie, show Mr. Bullard the back door. Leroy, go out in the backyard and burn the tire. Great Gildersleeve is made by Willard Waterman. The show is written by John Elliott and Andy White and is partially transcribed. Included in the cast are Walter Shetley, Mary Lee Robb, Lillian Randolph, Jim Backus, Dick Trenna, Earl Ross, and Dick Legrand. Musical compositions by Jack Meekin. This is John Heaston saying good night for the Kraft Food Company, makers of the famous line of Kraft quality food products. Be sure to listen in next Wednesday and every Wednesday for the further adventures of the Great Gildersleeve. <laughs> how to make some of the most delicious sandwiches you've ever tasted. Just spread that bread with Miracle Sandwich Spread. Miracle Sandwich Spread is made by Kraft from America's favorite salad dressing, 
Miracle Whip and Spicy Relishes to give you a spread with wonderful tang, marvelous flavor. Use Miracle Sandwich Spread along with the meat or cheese sandwich filling you like best. Or for the quickest, easiest, thriftiest sandwich you could want, use it alone between slices of bread. Tomorrow, get Miracle Sandwich Spread. Tonight, enjoy the best of Groucho on NBC.